And welcome to another episode of Hereford FC, Home Vanilla FM. And today we're going to come back for a slightly different episode. Um, so we are in between seasons. So I, I thought it wouldn't be worth it um, going back for the last um, few matches of the previous season because... Uh, how, how can I show you this? Is it still on that? No. Um, ba, ba, ba. So if you go to stages go back to last year because we we were pretty much going to avoid relegation a few matches from the end and then the last few matches were just it didn't really matter really um we were in 20th for for the last couple of matches so nothing exciting was going to happen no playoffs no relegation and no promotion nothing really so i thought you know what, i'll come back for a slightly different episode and show you the in-between season, or at least part of it. So we are now on the 2nd of July. And um, let me take you through, first of all, go to Club Info and start from here. So I'm now a Club Legend, which was a, it's, um, an upgrade from, um, from last year. Uh, and if you go to Facilities, uh, we already knew this, we're like in our extended stadium, very well, but we are in the process of upgrading both our training facilities and our youth facilities. Now, I think there's a little bit of a, potentially a bug around here. Um, we are in, so our youth facilities, if I go to board, uh, youth facilities in progress, finishing in three months same thing for training facilities but for some reason we've already been upgraded our youth level so rather than being in league three we are playing in league two i don't think that's supposed to happen until the end of the season but anyway so i think we're going to be struggling because we we finished 12th in league three so i don't think we're ready for league two for sure not yet um our intake was pretty good so if you look at our squad descriptions they're both strong squads um, yeah, so we have a pretty good intake on on the whole. Um, so that's the youth. Finance-wise, we're doing okay because so the reason we've been able to upgrade our youth facilities um, ba, 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 this season, kind of last season. Uh, no, it's this season. So this season, we obviously spent three million or nearly four million. On upgrading facilities but if we look at last month uh, where is it okay so at the end of the last season we received nearly five million in solidarity payments which obviously resolved our debt that we were in like nearly two million in, in the red and gave us enough money to then upgrade the youth facilities and training facilities and we got another boost from season tickets another three million so that was enough to leave us in the red it's got a little bit of a buffer it won't last long we'll go back into the red again um soon but at least it gave us enough to um upgrade some facilities which will be nice because that way we can not only attract better players but also uh, ensure that our players develop uh, much faster so that's it as far as finance it, finances go um i'm in the process of upgrading our staff and looking through um some transfers as well for players so what i always do is to, as far as staff i arrange my staff into so i i look at the ones that are on the month-to-month -month contract so those are the ones that are looking to renew a contract for the new season arrange into that sort it into you know the teams and the job role and then i go and look for each of these individual um posts i leave the coaches until last so first of all i'll go look for any medical staff any scouting staff and and then all the managers and assistant managers for the youth teams i've already got a couple actually and then uh the the next thing is um Oh, and I do any specific coaches, like things like set piece coaches and goalkeeping coaches, fitness coaches, and so on. And then I do coaches at a later date, and then finally I do the director of football because the director of football I use it for a slightly different 
thing. In this case, I'm using this guy for delivering our pep talks because he's got good motivate motivating. So that's the last thing I do. I see what skills we have in our new pool of stuff, and then I try to see if there, is that is there anyone with a better is there a director of football out there with a better motivating attribute or the other thing I can use the director of football for is tactical knowledge. So things like set pieces and so on in the instructions. So that's what I'm doing at the moment in the background. And then also uh, the squad. So obviously the squad to be much reduced due to retirements and loans that went. I'm planning to keep all of these. So I'm the, n none of these are going to be sold and n none of them are out of contract either. There's an, a youth player in the mix. That, there you go. And I brought back from the under 21s Max Guthrie. Um, but we're looking to get another striker that is a bit stronger than him as well. So he's going to be back in the main squad. For now. Uh, yeah, so all of these are going to stay, I think. And then we're going to fill out some other posts. These are some of the... Um, bids that I've done. Most of them are new gens, but I got a few real players in there too. And that's it really, so I'm just gonna continue a little bit. Um one episode idea that I've got for the future um is I I had a comment, uh, quite an interesting comment from a member of staff from Hereford in one of my videos and uh, essentially just said, oh no, I've been fired, that kind of thing. Uh, so I'm going to go back, the next episode I, I do, it's not going to be like a game episode, it's going to be looking at where they're now. So so I'm going to look at all the staff and all the original players um, from Hereford when you start the save and see where are they now. Some of them don't exist anymore, like they retired and the history was not kept, but I think some of them are still around. Um, Okay, let's see if we can make an offer here. Uh, always try and reduce this as much as possible. So now I'm going to go up by, say, 15k. Make another offer. See what comes back. Yeah, so so that's it, really. I um, just wanted to show you how it is going in the mid-season. But um, a lot of this is going to be just going through contracts and um, and so on. Training as well. One of the things that I do in the off season is go through my under 21s and sort out all of their individual training. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, we'll do that at a later date. Yeah, so I go through the other two. I actually need to do that. Um, I don't know if I've done it yet. Uh, what the size? Okay. I don't think I've done it yet. There's one way to find out. No. Okay. So one thing that I do is I go through the end of twenty ones and I basically assign a position that I want them to work on for the year. And then that makes it easier for me to visualize it. And then go through and check what's their lowest attribute green attribute i mean so this for this guy's concentration so i think it's yeah so i select the appropriate focus and then see if there's any uh, additional training traits that that the um the coaches recommend for that player so for this guy is anticipation so we go to it's the same. And there we go. I won't go through it all with you now, but that's basically what I'm doing in the off season. So off season, basically I look at any staff renewals, renew the squad. Uh, I always ask for a, a bunch of stuff in the club vision tab. Um, so that's why we're up upgrading the training and upgrading the youth setup as well. And I organize my under 21s because my under 21s um, so when the youth intake comes in in April, that's when I renew the under 18s, organize it all, and then limit it to 22 players, 
Pikachu in disguise. Oh yeah, that guy is injured, that's why. Uh, and then put any surplus players in the under 21s. And then when the summer comes around, and when all the contracts expire, blah 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 blah, all of that, and I make up the make up my mind of which players I want to be, I want to be have in the um, uh, in the senior team. Then I go back and l- reduce that squad to 32 players, either by selling players or releasing them for free, depending. And then I go through the training as well. So basically, do the under teams first in April, and then in the summer in July I do the under 21s. Okay, so that's just a quick snapshot of what's happening at the moment. We're going to play the championship again and watch out for the next episode. It's going to be just a quick look at the database to see where the original Hereford staff and players are at now um, in the game in um, 2028 to 2029. And then the episode after that is going to be the first episode of the season with the new squad and the first match. Thanks so much for watching to the end and take care. Bye-bye.